Hello! Now, there are many different reasons why you might need to write a professional email. So for example, you might be inquiring about a job or work experience, or maybe you're already in a job and you need to email your boss, or maybe you need to contact a university or college. Whatever the reason, there are some key ingredients that go into writing a professional looking email. First of all, make sure that you include a subject line. That's the line that's just normally beneath the email address that you're writing to, which clearly needs to state what the email is all about. And that's the key thing. It needs to be clear. It needs to be brief. Remember that whoever is reading it has probably got lots of emails to read through. So they're going to scan through their emails to see what all of their emails are all about. So you might need to get creative to make sure that your email is going to stand out. So make sure you, that you include a subject line. And then to start off the email, open with uh, a greeting. So for example, dear so-and-so or hello so-and-so. The level of formality that you use can depend on whether you know the person or not. If you don't know them, I would generally stick with dear. Um, or if you're responding to an email that they've sent to you, just copy what they've done. So if they said dear, then you say dear. If they say hello, you say hello, and then whatever their name is. Um, what else do you need to do? Uh, you might want to start off the email with a courteous uh, statement like I trust you are well or I hope you're having a good week. It's just common courtesy. And then you need to introduce yourself. So if the person doesn't know you, basically say who you are, your full name and perhaps your school year group and the school or college that you attend. And then you get into the main body of the email. So this is what the email is all about. The main thing here is to keep it brief, keep your paragraphs short, make sure there's a, a, a space between each paragraph so it's easier to read. Um, and those are the key things that you need to remember there. And then there's your concluding paragraph. So this is where you say a statement like, I look forward to hearing from you soon, or thank you for taking the time to read my email. And then there's the ending. It's what we call the valediction. So this is where you see in emails statements like, many thanks, best wishes, kind regards. It doesn't really matter which one you use as long as you use one. And then once you say that statement, a couple of lines underneath that, put your name, your full name, and then this is your email signature, which you will put at the end of all of your emails, which will normally be your name and then your, um, perhaps your year group, and again, the school or college that you attend. And then to finish things off, this is really important. Make sure you read it through, check for grammatical errors, and um, make sure you are clear and you're happy with it before you click send. 